Hi everyone, Donut here. We're just gonna go over a few stories today that I'm gonna jump on stream super late like I normally do. Then I'm gonna answer a question that a lot of you have been asking me here lately is if I'm going to Mr. Beast's $100,000 Airsoft Tournament. I'm getting a sh ton of messages and tweets about that, but we'll talk about that at the end of the video. First up, a guy with a high point shot his dick off. A 46 year old man in Marion, Indiana had a high point stuck in the waistband of his pants. It started to fall down because, well, I mean, it's a gun and it's stuck in your waistband. He went to reach for it and it went off, probably because it's a high point. Not to get too graphic, but he probably shot himself in the worst angle that he could according to reports. It went in the top of the the frank and came out of the beans. Speaking of high points, the Michigan City Police Department did a gun buyback and the comments are hilarious. What are those guns chambered in? 45 AARP? Thank you for keeping us safe from the elderly. <laughs> Sorry fam, grandma and grandpa traded in your inheritance for a gift card to Denny's. In this picture, a lever action rim fire and a single shot shotgun, both highly sought after by your common street criminal. Michigan PD finally broke up the infamous Metamucil gang. They committed most of their crimes between 6 a.m. and 1 p.m. before now time. Bruh, I'm dying. Glad to see the cops finally caught Bonnie and Clyde 86 years later. I heard they got a sick muzzle loader with a bump stock on it. Another high point off the streets. That guy is much safer now. Buys a high point for $80, brings it to the buyback for $100. This guy out here living in the year 3019 bought a high point just for the profit of the buyback program. If you're turning in a high point, why would you want your picture taken? He made out on that deal. I gotta agree with this top comment here. Just, just kind of look at the guns and, and listen to this. Most of these were likely handed down from generation to generation after a family member had passed away. Most look like they have seen some age on them. I'd bet the original owner would roll over in their grave if they knew their younger generation had sold their prized firearm to the police for next to nothing. Sad. In all honesty, I know a lot of these people just have these guns left over from when a relative passed away or was passed down to them. They just don't want it anymore. I personally don't think any of this shit stops crimes. Someone commented on here a minute ago, and I think this would be pretty cool if the NRA or a similar organization set up some kind of program where they buy back the guns and then auction them off and then use that money for like mental health or some kind of charitable thing. All these guns right here you're seeing, all these classic firearms are gonna be destroyed. I mean the high points and the other bullshit, the 380s right there probably deserve it, but the other guns, the cool ones, who are the, the ones that are priceless that someone probably passed down to a family member, those things are gonna get hacksawed up. Next up, man lost in snow for five days, survived on Taco Bell sauce packets. A man whose car was stranded in central Oregon snow for five days survived by eating sauce packets and starting the engine periodically to warm up. He told rescuers he and his dog became stuck in deep snow on the US Forest Service Road later that same day. He slept in his car and when he awoke Monday, more snow had fallen. He attempted to hike out, but the snow was too deep, so Taylor and Allie returned to his car. I don't know about you guys, but I think I would have preferred death in that situation, thinking about, you know, how that's gonna feel coming out. Five days of nothing but fire sauce, holy crap. While we're here, I guess we could take a look at the Protect and Serve subreddit. There's been some pretty decent content pictures on there recently. Just another day on the job. Police officers in Ecuador help a terrified sloth cling to a pole back off the street. That is one butt-ass ugly animal. What Pokemon shit that thing out? I I guess it's kind of fucking cute in a Guillermo del Toro way. See you, little buddy. You're gonna haunt my nightmares. Okay, I guess there wasn't that much stuff on Protect and Serve. I'm kind of out of content at the moment. I spent all afternoon researching the uh, Stephen Clark case. I listened to an hour and 18 minutes of the DA talking. There's a lot more to that case that a lot of news agencies aren't putting out there, and I'm hoping to be able to release that video tomorrow. As for the Mr. Beast $100,000 Airsoft Tournament, I'm not going. A little bit over a week ago, Mr. Beast tweeted out and said, Attention Epic Gamers, on March 6th, I'm hosting an in real life YouTuber battle royale with airsoft guns. Winner gets $100,000. It'll be in LA and similar to Dude Perfect's video. I says, I've been known to clear a room or two. You got a few thousand likes, a few hundred retweets. I I thought I could get in there, but I couldn't. Unfortunately, you're not gonna get to see me spank the little boo-boo baby behinds of a bunch of Fortnite streamers. I do wanna say though, I 100% support one man going to this tournament. A tomato man, you might say. A Mr. Leon Lush. He's been one of my favorite YouTubers for a while now. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I wear his shit all the time. He's going to be out there at the tournament on March 6th. He made a video about it on his YouTube channel. I know he's going to go out there and kill it. He's going to be bringing that 100k right back to Little Tomato Man. I believe in you, Leon. You can do it. Hey, maybe next time though, Mr. Beast, I'm always willing to come destroy some vloggers and Fortnite YouTubers. Anyways, everyone, that's all I have for you today. I just wanted to get on here and share a few stories and tell you guys to please give Leon your support. Watch his newest video. He's going to be out there annihilating these people. I'm going to be jumping on twitch.tv slash donut operator right now. I'm not too sure what we're going to be doing. We're probably going to be watching Grandpa Kitchen. Oh, and the Prison Shank channel has a new video. Hmm. Until next time, please have a fantastic day. Mm -hmm.